Hey guys, this is a simple zonker pattern that I've used for years. As you can see, the underwater footage is awesome. It looks great. It is easy to cast with a five weight, a floating line, and a long leader. It just kicks ass. And the fish absolutely love it. It's very simple to tie. The materials, let's take a look. I've got a Daiichi 1530 for the hook. I have small pseudo eyes in yellow up front. The body itself is all micro pine squirrel in natural, but you can use any color that you want. And then the body is a gold chenille in UV. So without further ado, let's get tying. All right, let's get tying. We're gonna start with the Daiichi 1530, size number six. And I'm using Beavis 100 gel spun thread. Just laying down a base of thread up front. And I'm gonna start with a little bump right here. And the reason why is it's gonna become a nesting point for our eyes. So I've got a bump on the front and a bump on the back and I'm just going to go right to the center leave my thread there so for eyes I'm going to use pseudo eyes these are size small and they're yellow and they're going to go underneath the hook so just pinch it put it underneath and choose a direction for your eyes to go you're going to angle them see how it's angled forward and now I'm going to do six turns one two three four five six right in the center there now i'm going to come back and i'm going to go the opposite direction so making an x six turns one two three four five six and if you've done it properly your eyes are going to be pretty much straight across look good and now come behind it just do two wraps and now you're going to go underneath the eyes once twice and now cinch the crap out of it to really lock it into place and now you can do that one more time go underneath once twice and that just locks everything in really nicely and i'm going to grab my zappa gap in medium and just hit it with a light dot just kind of to lock the threads and everything into position. Okay, I'm gonna run my thread all the way back to the hook point. And next we're gonna use micro pine squirrel. These are basically zonker strip from a pine squirrel. And um, they're just a little bit thinner than your standard zonker, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to measure, I want a length, so there's a length and a half off the tail. So the tail is going to be a length and a half. And then we want to measure the rest of the body and give yourself just a little bit of wiggle room. And now we're going to cut it. And one of the things when you pay attention to your zonker strips or micro pine squirrel, whatever, is make sure that the flow of the fur is going backwards not forwards okay so now it's time to tie in the tail and again i'm going to measure about a length and a half and i've got that and now what i want to do is peel the strip the zonker strip back and this is where i'm actually going to tie in and i just wet my fingers to keep that material out of the way Put it right on top of the hook and you're going to do three loose wraps. Make sure that it's on top. It looks good and cinch and pull straight down. And I'm going to do three loose wraps. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Now I'm going to fold the material back and I'm going to come in front and just wrap a couple times just to secure everything into place. Okay. Next material we're gonna use is chenille. This is UV polar chenille in gold. And I've just cut off a small amount, about three, four inches. And I'm going to wrap it 
and wrap forward just to lock everything into place. And now wrap back all the way to that zonker strip where it's set, set in. Okay, and what you'll notice sometimes with this chenille, depending on which way you fold it, the fibers will either go front or back and we're trying to get them to lay backwards. So it looks like this time it wants me to go underneath the hook. So I'm gonna move my thread behind the eyes and then just walk the material up and you can see I'm pulling it back as I go and I'm putting the wraps basically side by side because I want the material fairly packed in there pretty darn tight. Okay, I'm behind the eye and I'm just going to lock everything into place. So I'll go over it once, twice, three times, just pull it nice and tight, come over two times. And now I'm just going to cut it off. And as far as the length of the material, I wanted to go half the distance back on the tail itself. So to do that, I'm just gonna do a quick measurement of the, the, the body, right, and the tail. And I wanted to go back there. So now I'm gonna use that length, preen my materials up, do another quick look. That's about the length that I want. And now I'm going to use that length here and trim. Oh, I got a little hair in there. I want that. And trim the excess. And I did it in an angle. You don't have to if you don't want. And if they're straggling, straggler pieces, who cares? It'll look great in the water anyway. Next material, this is rubber, rubber legs, and this is just a gold flake on the brown. And I'm going to grab two rubber legs, and you can pop them right off without even cutting. It leaves the tabs on, which, which makes it easy to manage. And I'm going to lay it right over the front, and I'm going to do a loose X. The way to get these to tie in and to secure them and to get them to lay the, the way that you want is to do this little technique by putting that loose wrap there coming in front <clears throat> and what we've made is an x and now i'm going to go in front of them make sure that they're positioned on top so double check that looks good still loose one two three sin and those legs are not coming out they're not moving and they're locked into position which is great now i'm going to Push the chenille down because I want it to go out the back. Pull the pine squirrel up. And you'll notice I'm preening the material back. I'll bring my thread up to the eye. And now I've got my finger on, on the front and I'm just going to come up. Do the three loose wraps, make sure it's in position, come down and snip it off. Secure everything into place. Okay. Next, we're going to make a loop and the loop itself is only about two inches. So I've got a loop. I'm going to go under and now I'm going to wrap right over top of it three times. And I'm just going to let that loop kind of dangle there. And what we're going to make next is the collar. So I'm going to let my thread dangle and I'm going to grab a piece of the pine, pine squirrel zonker. And all I need for material to go in there is about one inch worth of material. So I'm going to just pull that straight out 90 degrees from the hide itself. I'm going to put it into my loop. Grab my dubbing spinner. And just create a tension on it. Now, as long as you have tension on your spinner, you can trim the material 
and you can position it as you like. And that looks really good. You can see I've got about a one inch worth of material in there, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more. And now I'm gonna spin. And this is gonna create that really cool collar. All right, so now we've got it. I'm gonna wet my fingers just a little bit to preen the material back. So you can see it's going straight back and now I'm just going to wrap that collar on there. And be careful not to catch your legs. That's good. I got one complete wrap. I'm gonna come right up on top. And I'm going to use all the material. I like that collar to be nice and full. And now I'm just going to take my thread. I'm going to go right over top of that once. Make sure to come underneath that eye. Twice. Three times. All right, that looks good. Flip your excess off. Maintain that tension on your bobbin. Now come in front and cinch, cinch that down. Now, if you want, you can just tie it off as is, or you can grab a Panatone marker, which is what I'm gonna do. It just takes a second. Any brown color will do, Sharpie, doesn't matter. Grab your zap. Bring those materials back and right over top. Lock it in. And now all we have to do is trim our rubber legs. And the rubber legs, I like to go back half the length of the tail. And that's it. This is a very uh, simple, productive pattern. Just a nice little uh, zonker streamer. And uh, I hope that helps you out.